Hi everyone, welcome back to Gray is Gorgeous. Today I'm going to put some layers in my hair. I'm going to try a little bit of a different positioning with those layers. I want them long and I want them to come uh, kind of come down to here, but I don't want to take out any of the weight right here. So I don't want to taper it or anything like that. So we'll see how this goes. I'm going to be going off of a Salon Guy video um, just on how to do the basic layering and you always want to review the videos first before you start cutting your own hair. With that being said, let's get started with this, um, this do it yourself. Again, I'm not a professional. None, none of what I'm going to show you here is a professional. This is not a professional tutorial. This is not a professional how to, this is just I went and looked at the Salon Guys video on cutting layers again just to refresh myself and I'm going to take what he, the basic knowledge he gave me and I'm going to apply it to what I want to do here and we'll see how it turns out. It might turn out terrible, I don't know, but let's take the journey together. All right, here we go. All right, so I've sectioned out this back portion of my hair right here. So behind the ear and same with this because I don't want to layer any of the back at all. None of the back. I just want to layer the front and I want long cascading layers. So we're not going to take a whole lot of length off. That's the trick on that one. Um, so we're going to have to uh, cut our line. That's a basic thing that that we do so we're going to take the we're going to I'm going to cut the, my line in by using the top of my hair okay since I'm not starting in the back now you don't want to go too far where the head starts to round here you just want the hair that's going directly up so this would be it so now I'm going to determine how long my layers are going to be and how you do that is the amount of hair you cut off determines the length your layers are going to be. So if I cut this whole piece off, I'm doing about a two and a half layer. Do you see what I mean? This amount here equals about two and a half to three inches. So that is how far that layer is going to come up. So if you look here where my hair is down here, you're going to, if I do a layer with cutting all this off, my layers are going to start right about the cheek here. So I don't want to do that because you can't put hair back on your head or grow it out instantly. So I'm going to start a little bit less than that. We're going to see how it falls first and then we'll, and then we'll decide if we need to take off more because it's easier to do that than to cut too much. And then you're stuck with what you, what you have. All right. So I think I'm going to, do that much so that's probably about an inch and a half and we're just going to snip that off that's three months worth so if i totally don't like this it's three months and it'll be back all right so that's our line and then i'm going to take this piece and i'm going to actually put it up so that I don't recut this section. That's That section's done. Now I'm not going to come too low here because the salon guy pointed out a very good issue. And that is if you cut into this right here, okay, it's going to cut a hole. So you, you, if you try to layer this, it will cut, there'll be a hole here. So we're going to leave this. I want weight here around my face. I'm just cutting the top layered. I'm not cutting the whole front and side and everything. All right, so the next cut I'm going to make is going to be at a diagonal. See how my fingers are coming straight out from the scalp? So you want to follow the shape of the head, right? So up here, the hair went straight up, but as as the my head rounds here you want to pull it out in the direction that hair would go out if you pulled it you not like this see that's not see how it's bent no you want to go out in the direction of the hair so now we want to take it 
out this far and we want to cut the same amount off there straight across So what did I say? Inch and a half? Okay. So I'm going to take that and cut that off. And I'm doing this dry, by the way. Why am I doing it dry? I'm doing it dry because I have more control when it's dry. I can look. When, when I put this down and it starts to fall, you're going to start to see the layering. And I'm going to be able to judge that. If you do it dry, you'll have to consider a half inch sh shrinkage. So it'll be a half inch shorter. And so you have to plan for that. Okay, so I'm gonna do the same on this side. Come out and I'm taking about an inch and a half off, straight out. Okay, now, now we've cut I'm going to put this back in a clip again. I'm just assessing how much I have done and how much I don't have done. All right, so this side has come to about here, and this side needs a little bit more. So I'm going to take my comb, and I'm going to take a little bit more hair there. <clears throat> and then we're going to take that out to the side. And I think this is actually shorter already, so not much there, just a little trim up there. All right, so I'm leaving the weight here. This is all one length and all one length. See, this is the fun part about doing it yourself and doing it at home because you can add the layers to exactly what you want and not take out <clears throat> the weight of the haircut. Because I don't want it tapered like this. I don't want it cut at an angle. I just, I love this weight right here. So I'm going to leave that there. All right, so that's the cut. That's simple. It actually looks good styled like this, doesn't it? It's kind of a neat thing. Put it back halfway. All right, so now I'm going to take these pieces out. And we're going to actually get to see, like right now, what, what I did. And that's why cutting it dry. Now, I like to wear my hair over, so I'm going to part it over. I cut it in the middle, but I'm parting it over. Okay, there's the layers. See? See this layer here? That's the layer we just cut in. Isn't that pretty? It just kind of grazes. It's not drastic. It just kind of grazes my face a little bit. See that? Simple, really simple, easy to do at home. I love that. So it kind of pulls the hair out of your face and it just kind of grazes your face a little bit. And that's what I wanted. And that way, if I want to wear it curly one day, you know, and I want to add, I want to take my <clears throat> iron and I want to put a little bit of a bend in it like this, twist and roll then I can do that, see that? And it's just up front, it's not the back. So I, I get all the weight of the back, which is wonderful, but I get this nice flowing front that it can be easily um, curled to add volume. So now I have nice, subtle, very subtle, no drastic layers in the front. And isn't that pretty? It just lifts my face up a little bit because everything is sagging, ladies. Oh my gosh. <sighs> Lately, I've been checking out my, not to get off topic here, but my eyes are like drooping some serious time. <laughs> the skin above my eyes is so droopy. I just feel like it's all <laughs> coming down. All right, so that is absolutely beautiful. Look at that. So nice. Now, if I wanted to do more back here and have it go back further, I could do more. And with a home haircut, you can completely customize it to exactly how short you want it. And feel free to cut your entire hair dry if, if that works for you, if you can see it better if you can see what the results is faster and that works for you, then just cut it all dry.
There's nothing wrong with that either. All right. Thank you so much for watching as always. Uh, click subscribe if you uh, vibe with my videos and you want to get see more. Uh, click like if you like the content and we'll catch you next time. Bye for now.